Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and welcome to the first episode of a new series, Playing Killerfish Games Cold Waters. Uh, Killerfish Games is the maker of Atlantic Fleet, and more recently, War on the Sea. Now, this is going to be my 100th video, uh, so I thought I'd do something a little special for my 100th uh, video and start a new series on a game by a developer that I admire greatly. Um, I'm going to be doing the NATO 1984 campaign, and uh, it's going to be on the realistic difficulty. I'm going to try and keep this as an honest series. By that I mean if I make it through the end of the campaign, go me. If I die in the third episode, I die in the third episode. I think uh, Wolf Pack calls that dead as dead, so we'll go with that. Now this is the base game. I don't have any mods installed or anything. I've watched a bunch of people play with the epic mod. It looks pretty cool, so uh, at some point in the future I'll probably stick that in and uh, see what we can do with that. I have played a little bit of the uh, single missions trying to learn the ins and outs of the game. Um, I'm a little better than I was, but I'm still learning. So any uh, advice or tips you have, leave them in the comment section below. Um, if you're new here to the channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to come with us through our journey through these cold waters. If you're a returning viewer, I hope I can do you proud in this series. Now, I do have a full American campaign that is currently in progress on War on the Sea. I'll link to that at the end of the video. If you want to uh, check out that game, if you haven't seen it yet, it's awesome. That's probably one of my favorite games that's out right now. So we're going to jump right into the campaign. Alright, so we're doing the NATO 1984 campaign. Like I said, it's uh, difficulty normal. I did set it to realistic, so hopefully we can uh, keep this going here. Um, do series one. Manor name. Very realistic, Jay. Alright, now we get to pick our sub. Our subclass, Los Angeles class nuclear attack submarine. Um, I've looked through these briefly. I do like the wires, and uh, Los Angeles class has the most of them. So, but there are benefits to the other subs too. I'm just uh, kind of preferential to the uh, Los Angeles class with its four wires. So. From Commander Submarine Forces Atlantic to Commander J. My command assignment is effective immediately. You are hereby assigned command of Los Angeles class submarine USS Hyman G. Rickover, SSM 709. Admiral Rickover was the kind of driving force behind the uh, Navy's nuclear program. So there we go. Hyman Rickover. All right, anyone familiar with the game or who has watched uh, people play this game are very familiar with these little news articles here. I'm not going to read every single one of them, um, but for the benefit of myself and um, maybe those who have yet to watch anything on Cold Waters, I'm going to go through some of them. New President-elect Ronald Reagan has begun his term in office by taking a harsh stance against the Soviet Union. A former California governor, once a Democrat, is reputed for his anti-communist stance and for rooting out communist sympathizers in Hollywood in the 1950s. Politburo isn't too happy about that. They call him a cowboy and are worried that he's not going to be the pacifist Jimmy Carter was. Brezhnev's legacy is stagnation and paranoia. The death of General Secretary Leonid Brezhnev is sure to result in considerable considerable debate behind the Kremlin walls. The last decade has been one of stagnation and increased bureaucratization of the Soviet classes. An unnamed diplomatic source was quoted in a recent Time article stating that the constant provocation from the Reagan administration has created an elevated and permanent anxiety concerning American aggression within the Politburo. Bureau. 
Uh, is Reagan pushing too hard? With the recent announcement of the Strategic Defense Initiative, several independent political and security analysts are expressing a growing concern that the Reagan administration may be pressing the Soviets too hard. Reagan calls the Soviet Union the evil empire, and everyone's in an uproar. International outrage as the Soviet Air Force shoots down a Korean Airlines aircraft over uh, that island there. All 269 passengers and crew aboard were killed. Bureau issued a statement claiming that Flight KL KAL-007 was on a spy mission on behalf of the United States. We regard this as a deliberate provocation to test our military preparedness or even an attempt to provoke war. Tensions are high between the Soviets and the United States. Pershing missiles deployed in West Germany. Development, deployment of the new Pershing II nuclear ballistic missile has commenced in locations around West Germany. The introduction of this upgraded medium-range tactical nuclear missile into the United States arsenal has already been the cause of considerable controversy between NATO and the Warsaw Pact, as well as within Germany itself. I'm not going to read all that. I will give you five seconds to do so. Very dangerous time. Very scary. This was a uh, around my kindergarten first grade, second grade years, so I have vague memories of the talk at the time. Uh, Soviets mistake Able Archer for a uh, possible first strike, and they go on high alert. Strong reaction corroborates the strained diplomatic relations between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. Years of terse anti-communist rhetoric deployment of advanced new nuclear weapons, and the outspoken ideological friendship between Reagan and British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher is said to have caused considerable fear among the Soviet leadership. And then the Cold War goes hot. Soviet infantry and armored units supported by strike aircraft have today stormed through the Fulda Gap region of West Germany penetrating the inner German border in a surprise attack. Initial negotiation attempts rapidly broke down and a state of war has officially been declared between NATO countries and the Soviet Union. NATO losses are reportedly high. In the United States, military forces have been fully mobilized and convoys loaded with men, material, and arms have already begun to cross the Atlantic. President Reagan addressed the nation saying, the full might of the United States Army, Marines, Air Force, and Navy will be brought to bear on this unprovoked attack. Which leads us to December 7th, 1984, 1700 hours. The tactical situation is as follows. Intelligence estimates indicate that enemy Spetsnaz commandos will land from submarine in the vicinity of Hafen in Iceland. They intend to report our sub-movements and perhaps sabotage a Navy base. You are ordered to intercept and eliminate them before they land. Primary objective is to locate and sink the enemy submarines transporting the Spetsnaz commandos. My secondary brief objective is to locate and sink any escorting submarines if possible. And not be detected. All right. So let's take a look at our loadout. Uh, I'm going to cut the number of these for now. I'm going to increase my MOS capacity. MOS is a mobile submarine simulator. In my learning the game playthroughs, I've found that they can be quite handy at distracting ships, airplanes, subs, and torpedoes. So we'll load up on them, increase my uh, Mark 48, load a Moss, and away we go. So we have to head to Hafen in Iceland to intercept the Soviet sub before they put the Spetsnaz commandos there. All 
All right, we got a sub moving down the coast. It's probably our target. Now they're heading up. We're just gonna kinda hang out here and uh, here we go. Patrol speed and contact. We have a new sonar contact bearing 112, designated Sierra 1. Our depth is 150 feet. Our speed is 10 knots. There's a weak surface duct and a very weak thermal layer at 234 feet. Okay, all hands man battle stations. On sonar, rig ship for ultra quiet. All right. See where they could be contact faded, it said. Let's drop down to 300 Gun, feet. New make depth three, zero, zero feet die by. And there's the contact. Let's see if we can identify her real quick. Oh, not quite. And we're out of the subs, whoops. Turn towards her. Come left to zero nine five helm I. No, not quite. Box trot. Con sonar, Sierra one is classified as submerged submarine. All right, it's 86 decibels. They can almost hear us to their distance. 8,400 yards, looks like they're heading right at us. Come left to zero, eight, zero, helm I. Let's turn away, if we can see them yet. See what the foxtrot is here. Uh, test depth 920 feet, 136 decibels. So they're quiet. Set 65. Zero, zero feet, die by. All right, they are a little bit lower than we are. They are heading straight for us. Let's go up above the layer. 200 feet. Make depth two zero zero feet. Die by. Run away. Actually, let's head south. Come right to one seven nine helm I. We're gonna pass right in front of them. Change my mind. Come left to zero six two helm I. All right, can we see her yet? Nope. Con sonar new contact bearing one nine eight designated Sierra two. Uh oh. Who would that be? Another Foxtrot. Con sonar Sierra two is classified as submerged submarine. And another Foxtrot. Con sonar Sierra three. Well, there's quite is a lot of them. As submerged submarine. Hey, she can't hear us. She can almost hear us. And she can't. Con, dive at two, zero, zero feet, dive by. She's up at the surface, it looks like. But I don't know if that'd be a, a sub, actually. Con, helm, steady course. She's up at the surface, too. So Sierra 3 and Sierra 2 are both on the surface. Kind of thinking that's not a sub. Come right to zero nine one. Helm right, she I. can just hear us. Forty eight hundred yards. These all look like fox trots. Uh, 
Now, I've heard that the game rewards patience. And there's a... Uh, oh, she's definitely a Foxtrot. Like she's heading right at us, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hmm. To be honest, I don't know what I'm going to do. Alright, we got a 95% solution on Con, here. Helm, so. steady course. I think it might be time to uh, take our shot here. I've heard the game rewards patience, and patience is not something I have a whole lot of. So. Con sonar, new contact bearing one zero five. Designated Sierra Four. Oh, they're just everywhere, aren't they? Whoops. And yet another Fox Trot. Sierra Four is classified as submerged submarine. She's on the surface too. Now oh, come on. Somehow I doubt it. We know this one's a sub. Because there she is. And there we are. There she is right there. So we're going to set. I'm thinking if I can get in her baffles, we should be all right. She can hear us for sure. She's turning. Come right to. One, two, one, helm, I. Okay. Let's launch. Shoot two one, I sir. Maybe you can go fire troll, weapon acquired. I don't think she hears it. That's not good. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Okay. Let's go deep. And speed up. Make turns, con sonar. We are cavitating. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Con fire control, we've con sonar lost contact. Sierra two, last bearing two. Con maneuvering, making turns for one five knots. And we got her. And we just gotta Passing avoid. Feet. Avoid all these torpedoes here. Passing four hundred feet. Passing 500 feet. Like we uh, managed to dodge this one so far. So let's set course Come left to zero, out this way. Three, helm, I. 
Okay, any torpedoes? There's a torpedo back there. Let's reload. Con, helm, steady course. Can't tell what that torpedo is doing. Slow down a little bit. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering. Making turns for one zero knots. All right, there's our first kill going down right there. She did manage to get a torpedo off though. Hey, I think we might have dodged her torpedo. Once we get uh, that reload done, we'll pop up above the lair. Torpedo room, tube one ready. Bring ship for ultra quiet. Okay, make your death. 200 feet. Alright, there's the other Foxtrot, so supposedly. I'm not really buying that, but that's a Foxtrot. Why would she be on the surface? Surf the uh, signature matches up. Do we have any no planes in the area? There's the torpedo back there. There we go, running away. All right, she still can't hear us. South. Come right to one six four helm I. All right, there's supposedly the other fox trot right there. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra four bearing zero nine nine. All right, thirty one thousand yards. She's heading for us. Head Come south. right to one seven three helm I. How would she be on the surface? I don't understand. Use some time compression here. Con, dive at two zero zero feet, dive by. Heading off in the other direction. That's doesn't seem Come likely. Left two, zero, eight, one, helm I. She's heading for us. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four. Last bearing. Con helm. Steady course. It just doesn't make any sense. Why would she be on the surface? Make depth four by V die by. Pop up and see what we can see. Might not even be a sub. That might have been our objective right there. <clears throat> but the signature matches perfectly.
Alright. Raise the periscope. Raise the ESM mast. Raise the radar mast. Why not? Con, dive at four, five feet, dive by. Con sonar, master two is classified as merchant. Really? Okay. They're all trawlers. Oh, I've been chasing trawlers. That's cool. Night vision. All right, well. Down scope. Lower the ESM mast. What do we have here? No vessels, no aircraft. Let's see. Sunk. We did it. Enemy engaged, one fox track sunk, hunted, three little fishing trawlers, but not attacked. So that's the first mission in the USS Hyman G. Rickover. Mission success. Let's see what we got. Excellent performance locating and eliminating enemy submarines, transporting Spetsnaz commandos. Await further orders on this downlink. There we go. First mission complete. The Pentagon today revealed that several Soviet submarines attempting an incursion near Hafen, Iceland have been destroyed or driven off by coordinated efforts of NATO surface vessels submarines and aircraft. The continued cooperation of NATO members was cited as pivotal to the successful outcome of this operation. None of which are Oliver Hazard Perry frigates. Anyway, ongoing protection of the many NATO allied military installations throughout the theater remain a high priority. NATO's ability to maintain control of the region is founded on these bases. All right, our new orders, tactical situation. Intelligence report that an enemy task force is preparing to sail from Murmansk for a patrol in the vicinity of the Norwegian coast. A NATO carrier battle group is currently providing cover in the region and must be protected. You will therefore intercept and destroy this task force, especially any capital ship, any enemy escort of surface combatants and or attack submarines should be expected. An enemy escort of surface com combatants and or attack submarines should be expected. So we have to locate and sink the capital ships, which if you uh, want to see how I do against a Kirov class, go watch, uh, I think it's like episode two or three of my uh, Learning the Game series. So hopefully it's not a Kirov, because this could be a quick series if it is. Other than that, I think... We are going to, if I can figure out how, save. Stop. How do you save? Hmm. Hopefully you can save. I don't like, I don't trust auto save, so. Menu. There we go. Summary. Save. Okay. Well, I hit it twice, so there we go. So our next mission is to sink a capital ship uh, and expect to be attacked by escorts. But that's going to do it for episode one of our Cold Waters playthrough in the 1984 campaign. Um, as you can see, I'm still fairly green at this game. So leave your advice in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you on our next mission. J76NY saying, have a good night.